good morning to everyone on who are uh, appearing in this virtual summit locations he uh, our other men of innovation who are participating in this unique hackathon are partnering in this unique hackathon including uh, professor kendan modgal modgalia of uh, indian institute of technology mumbai this is Swami, founder ceo of the climate small technologies is based in Coimbatore. dr lakshmi chief operating officer of the derby foundation based in bangalore dr anthony from the department of social entrepreneurship and the incubation center of the madras school of social social work chennai my enthusiastic and passionate colleagues from the bat campus of the anna university who are the prime drivers for this unique hackathon uh, including Professor Sanchil Kumar, the Dean of the campus, of BIT campus, Professor Putrachik Kodi, the head of the Pharmaceutical Technology Department of the BIT and University campus, Professor Dr. Anad Annapurni, head of the Computer Science and IT Department of the BIT campus, and their dedicated band of colleagues and students. First of all, I'm very delighted to participate in this uh, virtual meeting and also to inaugurate this COVID-19 National Bioinformatics online hackathon for full status. This is a unique event organized by the several people, several uh, uh, stakeholders who have been concerned greatly on this uh, uh, pandemic. I, uh, in fact, on behalf of the Anna University, I thank all these guests who are being enthusiastically and crafted this entire hackathon program uh, for the benefit of this nation. And uh, this uh, mentioned to you, this event has been carefully crafted by my BAT campus of the Anna University with a very unique and productive partnership of the eminent uh, innovators, both in the academic and uh, entrepreneurship world from different cities in this country of our country. In addition, I'm extremely delighted as this hackathon has drawn the very overwhelming support of almost all the government departments in the country involved in higher education, skill development, innovation, innovation promotion, and everything connected with the skills and innovation and all the other things needs to enhance our capabilities of our Indian instance and students. In fact, we're all aware that a few weeks ago, United Nations declared the coronavirus disease 2019 pandemic to be the greatest test this world has faced since the World War II. As of this morning, today, more than 3 million people have been affected and more than 2 lakh people have been killed by this deadly virus. It's uh, unfortunate that in India we have lost more than 900 people due to this COVID-19. Clinicians, pathologists have been struggling to understand the damage wrought by this coronavirus as it triers to the body. It is now being realized that although the lungs are the ground zero, the virus reach can be can extend to many organs, including the heart, blood vessels, kidney, gut, and the brain. So this is this disease can attack almost anything in the body with devastating consequences. Its ferocity is breathtaking and very humbling. This kind of unprecedented globally pervasive virus calls for intensively cooperative and novel efforts at global, national, and local levels from all friends. Doctors, clinicians, vaccine developers, drug discovery scientists are leading this challenge from one of the main friends. Scientists, engineers, innovators, technicians might have teamed up all over the country, including in India, to fill these uh, crucial gaps in the nation's response to this deadly and cruel pandemic, including these teams of this team of uh, scientists, engineers across the country, across various institutions, and the government bodies, and in many private uh, uh, startups, they have very immensely and immensely involved in the design, manufacturing, and distribution of a large quantities of the personal for PPE, so PPEs, including the ventilators, hand sanitizers, masks, 
bed sheets. So in addition, there is an imperative need to develop a behavioral centric solutions based on the local habits and the culture of the vast mass of our people, which are different at different across the country. And especially the people living both in the rural and the poor areas have a different habits, different culture. So this needs a, a solutions which people can understand and easily follow. And the solution can, for this kind of an issues for in, in mitigating this coronavirus 19 as of, of uh, this, this sector of the people can come from the hackathon that we are launching today. This hackathon throws great opportunities for the app developers to come out with a responsive apps, web-based apps, which will enable health authorities to take measures to contain this pandemic as well as the public to protect each other from the virus in a very simplistic and novel way. India being the powerhouse of the software skills and the apps development and expertise, there is this great opportunity. This is a great opportunity to our skilled and talented students in all disciplines to team up and give shape to their intuition and innate abilities. More than, more than, uh, more on this, perhaps, since I am not an expert, expert on the apps, I have no little bit about it, and it will be spelt out by my other experts who are actually who are partnering in this venture, and they will give you in more detail what should what could be done by these talented the students. And I wish to take a two minutes of my time. How Anna University, a leading technological university in the country, has responded to the and risen to the challenges thrown by this pandemic. And in the last two few months, Anna University's technical our technologists we have played a very significant role. I'm going to mention a few. The drones of Anna University, designed, fabricated, and manufactured, manufactured designed, and tested by our, our, uh, our faculty members, led by the Center for Aerospace Engineering. In the last 15 days, five of our drones have been put into the service at the rest request of the corporation of the Chennai to, 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 to carry out the disinfection on the houses and the buildings which are not easily accessible. And in the last 15 days, the drones of the Anna University has covered about 40, 40 lakhs kilometers of the areas on the, in the Chennai City Corporation, Greater Chennai Corporation. And in, uh, our people, the experts in the biotechnology department, have come out with a new sanitizers which can kill the, not only the proteins and the RNA of this virus. And our people in the textile engineering department have come out with a washable with a mask. Our department, the central, our, uh, our department, the remote sensing department, have helped the state government in mapping out the zones, what you call the red zones, are the zones of concentrated people, concentrated infected people in the entire city of Chennai, city, Chennai and the entire Tamil Nadu, so to take appropriate measures for dealing with such, uh, the kind of measures that requires in those zones. And my NHHID team has helped in coming out with, uh, uh, with helping in uh, repairing the ventilators in many of these uh, hospitals, and they have been doing a great job. And my manufacturing department has helped in pr producing a, what you call the split type wear ventilators and provided to the hospitals along with the Shastra University. So this is a, an university is contributing its might in all fronts in this uh, hour of need for the nation. And we have joined with many departments in the state government and we are been very happy and we will continue our challenge, our, our responsibilities and to mitigate the effects of the coronavirus to the full extent, I will assure you. And I'm glad that uh, all the people, especially our chairman, Professor Sasra Buddhi, and all the stakeholders have been intensively involved in designing this kind of a hackathon so that it can, can bring out a novel solution and for the people they need, which, which we, people they need the solutions based on this kind of an approaches. So with this one, I once again thank all the members, especially my team at the Anna University Beatty campus, is one of the campus, which the campus is doing extremely well and, and uh, uh, to having designed, taken an initiative and taking a drive with this one. So with this one, I again welcome all of you, my especially my st other stakeholders, important stakeholders who are you know, gracing this occasion, okay, including Professor Anil Sasra Bodhi and taking off his time with a busy schedule 
and helping and giving up all the importance, all the support that needed to drive this kind of an institution to rise to the highest level and to meet the challenges posed by this unprecedented crisis that has created, which has created a havoc across the globe and across the nation. Thank you very much once again for all of you.